Yes, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Was Zone Jones, coming right back at you with a pro rest on the latest every video. And you know, I want to talk about a topic that I never talked about before on my channel, is which is hijacking the show. You know those fans that be hijacking the show? Like, literally, like, they just be doing a bunch of wild things, saying a bunch of wild things, basically a bunch of random things that just basically happen out of nowhere. If you're not exactly sure what I mean by hijacking the show, I'm talking about they'll just be chanting sort of like all sorts of things. Like, they could be chanting like the CM Punk chant in the middle of a promo. Um, they definitely like to do that, too. Like, like Stephanie McMahon and Triple H, like, like, they like just chanting CM Punk. Um, they the what chant especially the what chant has been done to death like that's never ever gonna go away uh, fans like to chant a what when a wrestler is out there talking especially if it's a wrestler that they really really don't like they'll definitely do it to Roman Reigns for example I remember Vince McMahon probably got it more so than any other star in the business um, like they they'll just do a particular thing so like if you if you're having a wrestling match. It could be a wrestling match going on. All of a sudden, they're doing this thing called, like, the wave. The wave is where, like, all of a sudden, like, the fans are just get out of their seats and they just wave, like, wave their hands like that. And, and it just happened all across, like, the arena. Sometimes, you know, like, chance just happened at the wrong, wrong, wrong time. Definitely, especially, like, when a wrestler is trying to progress a real serious storyline. Like, I remember they did it to Seth Rollins when, in his feud with Triple H. And he was like talking from the heart, uh, and all of a sudden the fans started to, to literally chant "What at Self Rollins?" And I thought that was a little rude and shouldn't be doing it at that particular time. But if the fans who paid their hard-earned money, uh, I'm pretty sure they feel that way. Um, if they are having fun doing whatever the hell it is that they're doing, they're not gonna stop. Trust me on that. They will definitely not stop, especially if they feel like they're getting under your skin. If they feel like they're getting under the, the, the like under the wrestler's skin, they're definitely not going to stop, especially if you're interacting with them. So let me give you a real good example of what I'm talking about. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. All right, we got this video right here. <laughs> See the fans getting on the nerves. You guys are being really rude right now. <laughs> 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 Look at the fans getting on the nerves. So the next moment that I am going to introduce is the fifth member. So they know they got to her, so they're going to continue. They know they got to her. Ha, ha, ha. I think we've seen enough. Uh, we've seen enough. So hopefully, you see my point. Um, stuff like that, like interacting with the uh, fans, like the fans basically trying to like get themselves over. That's another thing. A lot of people probably say what well, hijacking is. They're trying to get themselves over, and if they interact with a superstar like that, they are definitely going to keep doing it. Now, sometimes this does a wrestler a disservice. For example, when we boo baby faces, so when you boo a baby face wrestler, a baby face is trying to get a certain reaction from the you know, from the fans. So 
basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to get cheer. So if you're booing this baby face, in a way, you're kind of making them look bad. So when it continues to keep happening and like they're continuing to get booed when reality is they're supposed to be getting cheered, it makes them look very, very bad because, well, you know, management, they might look at it and say, you know something, it's not working out. Let's move on to the next star because it's not working out with this person. So we might actually hurt them in that way. Um, some of the wrestling fans had a beach volleyball at SummerSlam, and they were literally hitting the beach volleyball around the arena. And um, Cesaro got so angry, he jumped in the crowd, grabbed one of the beach volleyballs, and he smashed it. He smashed all the air out of there. So... You know, some, I'm pretty sure he felt very disres, uh, disrespected. And then on the next night of Raw, I, from what I hear, there were seven beach volleyballs. And I remember, like, I, they like they showed some of the fans who was hitting the ball. And I remember I saw security grab that volleyball. They probably didn't mean for that to happen. Like, they probably didn't mean to actually like, show security grabbing that volleyball. But, you know, stuff like that will definitely happen. So stuff like that is called hijacking the show. Is it fun to watch like on TV? Yeah, it is. I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes that shit is fun. Sometimes that shit is um like funny as hell. Um like seeing it happen to Roman Reigns, like it's I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I do kinda enjoy it. Um but especially after WrestleMania, it gets really, really, really popular. But this is Warson Jones. That's all I got to really say about that. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Deuce.